Drew, I get tremendous excitement before I watch Hawthorne games. And one of the reasons is uh, watching Jason play. Because you cannot allow them to get away because they are very, very skilled. Scotty handed. 55 out. Dunstall in front and marks. Bad play. The runner should go. Attack day now and Jason Dunstall against Richmond. Good gather, Dunstall. Hook across his left shoulder is near perfect. Close to the line. Burton was well held by Laffey, but Abbott has played exceptional. Oh! Dunstall! Thank you very much. What a mark. <laughs> you can't help but put your hands together. Look at this. Magic stuff. That's what football's all about, isn't it, eh? The next six goals, three of them to Dunstall. Carlton, the Princess Park, I should say. Oh, I think Tim Darcy's in for a very, very hard afternoon playing on this man. Very important. It comes to Dibia Domenico. Two against two. Dunstall in front. Darcy a spoil. Comes back to Dunstall. 40 metres out. Short pass to Hall. Great football. Hall goal. Well, Condon's got it now. Dunstall should mark. Oh, great football, Hawthorne. Haven't they got great skill, Dennis? It's just with the 50 metre line taken by Anderson. Anderson goes towards the square. Dunstall strong mark in front. Loveridge running through Going the middle. down towards full forward and Jason Dunstall. Dunstall. Oh, what a mark. For goal number eight. To point out that he played an extra 100. Bays. A lot of bruises and strains. Oh, great, great tackle, Dunstall. Jason Dunstall again kick. powered his way Dunstall. to six goals. Oh. Look at some of the marking. Looks for Dunstall. Abbott's there as well. Dunstall! I believe that. So they're going to have to wait a, wait a while to build up. And that's the only way to get it through a cycle and just stick to your guns in the meantime. Mel Brown made a very uh, played a one, that has, one that has coached at the at Victorian level and a general. Condon's left foot kick may even roll through. No, great gather Dunstall over his left shoulder goal. the back pocket. Collins kicked towards centre half forward to the advantage of Brereton. He nearly takes a one-hander. Quick to recover. Should give the hand pass. No, he doesn't. He feeds it down Dunstall's throat. And Dunstall... Morrissey goes for distance. Down towards Dunstall. Dunstall, superb mark. Popped short of the ball. Held his man at bay and then at the last possible moment went to the... Gets it to Jenke. Threads his way through, does Jenke, goes looking for Dunstall. What a superb kick, and Dunstall should have marked that one. Gets his second chance to side boot it through. It's on the run again, starting with Bacanara again. To full forward, and Hutton drops a mark taken by Dunstall. A snap by Dunstall is another one. With great courage by Dippy Domenico. Pritchard, they're not the top team because they'll give it away. Dunstall. Pritchard, Pritchard's kick into the goal square, Dunstall can't mark, runs into his teammate Morrissey, which didn't help their cause, Morrissey gets the hand pass out, Dunstall, step shot, brilliant! And although Jason Dunstall had been well held all day, it was the champion full forward who put the result beyond doubt. He's been great, oh, beautifully sidesteps, here he is again, Brereton in the centre of the back, he's Dunstall with the chance, on the left foot, hooks it back, Oh, what a great goal. And what a great goal to bring up his 400th in league football. By uh, the veteran. He's gone to the pocket. The lead's on. Oh, beautiful pass. Great lead by Dunstall. Brilliant skills by Platten to set it up for Brereton and Dunstall. Oh, look at the eyes on the ball. Never, never wavered, never took his eyes off it, Don. Taking a nice mark as Terry Danaher. He chips it out wide to the pocket. And Dunstall's let out well in front of Delaney. And Dunstall takes the mark 50 metres from goal. Short pass. Great one. And lock it. Kicks have got to tighten up as he gets a quick kick. Waitman into the square. There's a Victorian mark. Dunstall. And that... 4-1. Victoria, South Australia, one goal, two. The Vicks in attack. Log it to Dunstall. Oh, he's gone. in the first term, while Hawthorne Eagles applied far more pressure, Hawthorne soccer tactics go... Dunstall, has he marked it inside the line? Yes, says the boundary umpire. He runs around, gets a play on call, hooks it. 
and he's put it through. I didn't pick up the first bit. <laughs> Dunstall, strong grab. Almost a dummy. Centering kick by Brereton. Oh, Dunstall! Now, where were his hands? Yes. I'd mean, love to see that. That was a Malcolm White lift-off, I think. I'd love to see the hands. Gentle Warwick. right hand on the shoulder. And up he went. He set himself up very well. What a cap is there crucial. There we go. one still with a run of it. There goes the kick down towards full forward. Not a particularly good one. It comes to Dunstall, though. Dunstall, 30 metres out. Great snap. Goal. And what a great passage of play. We've got the loose man running. This doesn't look good for Collingwood. It's Schwab. Schwab short. And what a great pass and mark by Dunstall. Great lead. Pass by Schwab. There was no way known that McEwen... Dunstall's opponent would punch this ball away. That was classic pass. Bank with the full back across to Anderson. Now Dunstall on the lead. McEwen can't judge the ball. The open goal. Dunstall's third. Fourth by Langford looking for Dunstall but can't find him. Well cut off by McEwen. Desperately tries to break the tackle. Can't do it. Upset. Pritchard. Anderson to Platten. He's the skipper of the ship at the present time. The one that's sailing pretty well, and he finds Dunster. What a superb mark. Take those marks we see here on replay. He's under duress. McEwen coming through, but he's... Former Attack Queenslander again. Curran goes back. Dunster the mark. How do you stop that? And long. here, dodging target. and turning, to be giving the Magpies the runaround. Dunster, chance at his ninth. It's good. Hundred. The answers early looked no. He kicked 3-1 in the opening term. This snap number 98. At the first turn, the Hawks by four. Teammates Condon on screen there, a good worker. And of course, Jason Dunstall. Uh, he said was quoted as saying that. Don Dunstall. Dixon at centre half forward kicks it wide. Give it a minute go. Oh, he drops a sitter. Dunstall in the pocket goes for goal number 100 and gets it. it. Well, what a way to get your 100th goal. Robert Giffy Domenico got in his way, he should have let it go. The call should have come from Dunstall. Giffy Domenico dropped it, but Dunstall had the good sense recovery, turn, and what a great way to kick it. It's probably the hardest shot he's had all day. And they are coming from everywhere, which is ridiculous because this match is still in the cliffhanger status. And I don't think Jason Dunstall. While he's glad to get the 100th, but appreciate the attention. Dunstall surrounded. But he's come down with it. What a mark. On the turn quickly for Dunstall. Oh, oh. Mark. Oh, what a... Yeah, a minute going half forward. On to Dunstall. Dunstall leads and marks. And the Hawks are coming back hard. And looking good too, Pete. And the pressure now being applied to the Essendon side. Hawthorne doing a... Drops the mark. He's got tons of time to kick long. Dunstall back. Dunstall, a brilliant mark in front of Anthony Danaher, 25 to 30 metres out directly in front. Curran's kick for Dunstall. Dunstall gets to the back, oh, what a mark. Round goes to Whitman, pumps it high. Dunstall, oh, <laughs> pretty to watch. Off the ground, Platten, but the mark will be paid to Dunstall. With sure thing, Curran's kick wide to half forward. Marking contest up there, it's a clean mark for Dunstall. For Dunstall, we have Hawthorne's. Well, we see this on replay. I would have had the Ruckman Burke dropping back to block it up on that occasion, but he was waiting back with Deer. Towards full forward, the high flyers. No one can mark the ball. Stephen Hocking gets it out the back to Fuse. Great tackle by Dunstall. Terrific stuff by the Hawthorne forwards. Burke will kick a goal. He was called. But then again, it was also a bad mistake by Andrew Hughes again out on that edge of the square. And let's hear it for number 19, Jason Dunstall. Four goals today, so he finishes the season on 138. And what wouldn't show up are two brilliant tackles. Number 20, coming back after injury, Scott McGuinness. Andy and Jason, your fourth flag in a decade, great success. It must be a fantastic feeling. It is, Michael. Um, you know, we've achieved everything we set out to at the beginning of the year, and for it all to come together today is just terrific. A perfect day, big crowd, the ground. What was it like out there? 
as you say, it was perfect conditions. I mean, we couldn't complain. There was a slight breeze to keep it cool. Um, the crowd atmosphere was tremendous. It was just a perfect day for football. Now, Hawthorne started to tire a little bit. How important was that week's rest coming into this game? I think it's very important. You know, you've got a few guys with niggly injuries. They get over that. But um, then we set off at such a cracking pace. I guess we had to tire eventually, but fortunately we hang on. A tremendous effort by Hawthorne. Back-to-back -back premierships. Club history. Fantastic. Thanks, Jason Dunstall. Thanks very much.